Okay, I'm going to show everybody my new wood shop. We put it inside this trailer here. As soon as you come in the door, you can see my CNC machine. It's all set up. Got a VFD, that's variable frequency drive. It's for the spindle right there. And Mach 3 running on the computer. Set up with bits. I have a master power strip down here that'll turn everything on in sequence. I've got my router table. I don't know if you can really see it. I've got my table saw over here. It's on a rolling stand and if I want to do large stock I just put down the ramp door. And got overhead lighting for the table saw. So I cut the stock down at that end, and down at this end, I do all the detail work. CNC machine's finally done. I've got about a two foot by almost four foot cut space right here. Uh, I haven't calibrated it yet, so it actually runs a bit slower than it's supposed to, but I can control it with this pendant. All right. Just enough space where it won't hit the ceiling when it's maxed out. You can see on the side here, I got these zip strips on the top and the bottom with a marking that will tell me when it gets right to its limits because I don't have limit switches installed yet. So right there is that limit. There's that limit. Done. So I'll keep it right around here. The frequency drive, it's 220 volt, I got a 1.5 kilo, kilowatt spindle, and I got it running on single phase 110 volt with a software update. Um, this unit here, it actually does it, and um, I'm worried that I'm going to pop my 20 amp breaker, but it seems to operate just fine. It pulls about 1.5 amps while it's constantly running, no load. So you can see, all I got to do is hit the start. You can hear it spin up right here. That's this guy. I got the water cooling up and going right here. This is actually a computer cooler that I had tied in and controlled the fan speed right here. I just leave it on max. Uh, it doesn't really generate that much heat. These motors are pretty efficient. So I just created two little adapters and I have them tied into the liquid cooling. Uh, you can see how I designed this. I got supported rails, 20 millimeter. I have uh, large ball screws, and I have 425 uh, pound uh, motors right here, and they seem to work really good. They move this thing right along. Now this unit, it doesn't operate at its full speed because. Uh, Right now it's not calibrated, so as soon as it finds out what an inch is and I tune the motors, then it'll be just fine. Um, you can see down here how I set the control box up. I uh, actually put one fan on this side that's blowing out, and I have one fan on this side that's sucking in. And that creates a huge cross breeze in here, and it cools down these, these uh, stepper controllers. So this is a USB board, that's pretty rare, they're usually parallel port and they can't put out as many pulses as this one can, because USB operates at a faster frequency. I um, haven't adjusted this guy yet. Uh, this is actually a, uh, a little potentiometer to control the speed of the machine, so I've got it set on minimum right now. So uh, I can also pop over here and I can control it through Mach 3. This machine with this design, I'm losing a little bit of floor space um, because it's supposed to, you know, use the whole table. But with this design, I can actually expand it pretty easily. And if I need to do objects that are bigger than the size of the table, you can see 
can see that my spindle actually comes over the table quite a bit and that's because of this design right here um, it works for right now but if I were to loosen this up and move this back I'd gain actually a couple inches of table space back there um, and I'd lose a couple up in the front side here but right now it's kind of cool because I can do objects that are bigger than the Z height which is on this model about five inches I think so um, you know it, it's kind of cool that I can do large objects but uh, more to come on that so you can see how I built it it's uh, it's actually uh, an unusual design because my uh, linear rails are actually on the piece that moves and my bearing blocks are actually on the stable piece right here on my uh, y-axis or my x-axis so um, you know this piece will move side to side and then my rails and everything move up and down and that actually um, it eliminates this one problem that everybody has with their machine is that is this piece right here hangs down so low uh, that you know you're limiting your clearance here I have actually a lot of clearance probably more than my spindle can even handle yeah but anyway um, this is it that's my machine it's all functioning it's all working and I'll get a video later of it actually running some code so uh, alright guys thanks for watching